Meet Kayo De Yusuf, the young entrepreneur and founder of Greenville Organic Foods, who is changing the traditional way Gary is packaged and sold in Nigeria. From his small office in one corner of Lagos, Kayode and his partner Raman package Gari into small parks and distribute to their customers around the city. And it's not just the packaging that makes the so fine Gari different from what you get in the open market. After we produce, we usually take the samples for testing in the lab. So the results of the lab tests, we do things like the moisture contents in the products. And this also lets us know how long this product will spend on the shelf. So we make sure that at each stage of the production and packaging cycle, we adhere to the best quality standards available. It's in this remote village in the outskirts of Lagos that the production of Kayode so fine Gary actually begins. Without a factory of his own, he outsources the production to these local women who are specialists in Gary production. Kayode, however, supervises the entire production process to ensure everything meets a standard required by his company. All of this started when I went to do my national youth service in a village not far from here. And I saw how we had, how much cassava we had in abundance. And these cassavas were getting spoiled because when you harvest cassava, you must do something about it within one to three days. And a lot of these farmers are peasant farmers. So what they do was that they processed this cassava into gari just for their own use and a little for sale. So a lot of the cassava gets wasted. So I saw an opportunity in processing gari, and not just processing gari, but processing quality gari for the use of Nigerians. With Kayode's initiative, local farmers are finding a new market for their cassava and avoiding wastage. More and more local women are also making money from gari production. Kayo Day's Greenville Organic Foods makes around $600 a month, but he says with better funding, the potentials are huge. Presently we sell about 50 bags per month, and for a company that is about eight months old, we think this is, this, this is a milestone that we have achieved. However, we believe that we can do a lot more. The market is big, the potentials are large, and we expect that if we're able to produce in a larger scale, we would not just be able to sell to larger clients, we'll also be able to sell at a cheaper price. For now, Coyote's Greenville continues to rely on the outsourcing model to stay afloat, hoping that sometime soon, it would get the needed funding to make that big leap. Deji Badmo, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.